Assalamu alaikum. This vlog is going to be sick, inshallah ta'ala. Brother Adam came and paid us a visit. We're on two podcasts. The first one flopped because we were sleep deprived. The second one, we got emotional. Check it, inshallah ta'ala. Then after that, we went to pray taraweeh in Mirdif Masjid. This is the best masjid in Dubai so far, up until now. We still got Sheikh Khalid Ismail's masjid in Barsha to check out. But this was an amazing salah. I finally went to pray salah behind Mishari. Mishari al Afasi, the world renowned reciter, Masjid Hin. It was amazing. We got mobbed at the end, it was long, but it was a great day. Pretty much everything they're about to see was in less than 24 hours a day in our life. In okay guys, alhamdulillah, we've got a live with our community, our Brothers Club community on school. And we're doing um, a live Q&A with the Brothers for Ramadan. It's an epic, vibrant community, inshallah ta'ala. And brothers are really, mashallah, tabarakallah, contributing. There's so much value, so much connections have been made. Brothers are supporting each other in terms of deen, in terms of dunya, in terms of business. So currently, I'm just about to go live now, inshallah ta'ala, with them. And this is the one that most people misunderstand. And it's iqla' min al It's to cut off the sin. It's to cut off the sin. Now, uh, alhamdulillah, I gave away um, a prize. There was a brother, a lovely brother. He was talking about how he's trying to be on his deen and people around him are putting him down, telling him that he's going to not be on his deen for too long. And I felt the pain in his voice, man. So you know what I said to him? I said, listen, I'm going to fly over to Dubai. So you're going to be around the brothers, inshallah ta'ala. All expenses paid trip. And uh, yeah, man, it's nice to do something like that. Yeah, but we're trying to make this popping. I want you guys to feel like on this channel, like on the school community, on the brothers' community, on this channel with the Righteous Rich and Chama Bai, and I want... I want you to feel like we're all connected internationally. Like, I want it to be like, I want you to all feel like there's a chance you could be right here. That you could actually be right here. Hey, take a question, bro. There's a chance that you could be right here chilling with me, with the brothers. We'll get some little cake, some coffee. I have to keep the halal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's check it, because may maybe if I started waffling, then, then that's it all. And um, I love the fact that they were asking questions that were your area as well. And I feel like that's going to come more and more now when people see this thing. Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Abbas. How you doing, mate? You guys got a little cheeky haircut? Yeah, we went to the oh, I'm shop. very. How you doing, Abbas? What's funny is even I went to the barbershop. Yeah? But I didn't actually get my haircut. Oh, no, what happened? I had a live and there was a, I was not going to make it in time. Oh, okay. By the way, don't ever go there. The AMG Cafe is dead. No, it's nice, bro. Act, what I. Act, they got sick granola. Adam, Adam. Adam. Brother. Wait, you recording something? Yeah. I'm sorry, brother. We're recording something over here as well. Huh? We're recording something here as well. Yeah, but what are you recording, though? Wait, so you got a haircut as well? What are you recording? You're going for Umrah. Why are you got a haircut? I think, I think it was more important, bro. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Allah, I'm very. I'm very. MashaAllah, I'm very. I'm very. I'm very. I'm very. I'm very. I'm very. No, I was trying to encourage everyone whose families have passed away. Ah, oh, you know, not to forget Allah. about your parents. Ah, oh, the gift of Umrah. If you're ever watching this, we have a company, it's called Gift and Umrah. We help people who have passed away who are in the grave, especially for parents. If you have a parent who passed away, well, I don't forget about them. Because Bir is not only in their life. But bir, goodness. Yeah, the goodness, doing good to them. It's not only in their life, it's in their absence. And likewise, after they pass away. Wallah, I didn't even intend to come. I, even, I was literally on the plane when I was coming to Dubai. I said, like, what the heck is wrong, man? How are you going to come into this place? Okay? <laughs> was here in the last 10 nights, and I remember he must have just said to me very casually, it's the last day of the night, in the last 10 nights, maybe like 25th night or something, and he goes, you know what the Salaf would make dua to Allah to guide him to a, an alim rabbani, to a scholar that is like a cultivate you, mentor you type of situation. I said, really, the Salaf would make that dua? I raised my hands, I made that dua. My brother calls me the next day saying, yo, I'm in Pakistan, I just met a sheikh. <laughs> No, oh, Sheikh Dia. <laughs> Sheikh Dia. So from that day onwards, Alhamdulillah, I was like, what? And it was literally what you said to me. I made dua there and then. And boom. Connected with the Sheikh that changed our life. The podcast I'll do with him tomorrow, and Charles will be one of your best podcasts. I've got a technique to make people cry on camera. No way. Yeah. You tried that on me before. Say again? asked me the other day. look at me. Oh, did you? You got teary eyed. 100% you got teary eyed. I didn't, like, I tear them fall down. Oh, not everyone cries, but yeah. I, I got you to the point of yeah. tears. That's just you and your character. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Oh, you're making me want to cry, man. I'm holding myself right now. So, guys, it's suhoor time. We've got this nice little 
beautiful little setting, little garden. The masjid is right there. That's where the Fajr Salah is going to be, inshallah. And we're out here having a little suhoor, a little salt bre mm. breakfast. And um, our cameraman is currently playing Mr. Romantic. Yeah, yeah, absent. Absent minded. Why is he absent, bro? Huh? Why is he absent? Yeah. First year in marriage, you know what I mean? Excusable, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah man, he's doing his romantic thing right now. The Ulama mentioned mention that shukr is qaydu lil mawjood wa sayd lil mafqood. When I heard that, I was like, whoa. Well, I'll translate that for the people. Shukr, being grateful for to, uh, to Allah wa ta'ala, is pretty much capturing, keeping, tying down, putting under your armpit, choke holding it. That which you already have. The blessing you already have. The blessing you already have, you headlock that thing. So stay right here, you know? And then they mention Sayyidu Sayyidun Lil Mafqood. And it's catching that which you don't have. Why? How is being grateful to Allah catching that which you don't have? Because Allah Azza wa Jalla He mentioned La in Shakartum La Azidinakum. That Allah verily indeed without a doubt, La Shaq wa La Raib, the one who owns everything, is gonna increase you if you give thanks to him. Look at our look at our feet, bro. You know, we look so if you look at our top half here, we look like we, look like we fit in. <laughs> what do you mean? There's a half a stack on my feet, Akhi. What are you talking about? That's what I'm trying to say, bro. That's... Why? Yo, make sure you get that from a good angle too, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro Righteous like... and rich. Bro, it, it, it looks like you're yeah. it looks like right? you're yeah. a spaceship, bro. Look, look, look. Righteous and rich. It's by Akhi, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we'll, we'll bear with Listen, I was going to say, I, be my thing. I, um, my friend, is, is it not possible if he sits in front? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> How do you find that like this? The podcast? Yeah. No, I didn't like it at all. Really? Yeah. The first time you got that. What he says, I was. Oh. Well, 99 percent things. That's my man's response. No, but you know, I rate I... it though. It's a high standard. I rate it personally. Uh, Let me tell you something. The day we can release a vlog, and he looks at it and he says, "Yo, that was fire." then you know we've reached a standard that we now must maintain. Because <laughs> he's looking through the eyes of Hollywood. You don't record podcasts when you're sleep deprived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true, like, the o'clock, this lack of sleep thing never, never goes well. Anyway, inshallah. I promise the reason for this call, inshallah, is just for us to get to know you a little bit better, understand your you wants, your needs, where you are at the moment, and where it is that you're trying to go to, so that, inshallah, we can try and uh, make this program as uh, bespoke and as tailored as possible for well, his ties don't know. <laughs> he's so smoky slipping up over his words <laughs> basically people we are gonna have to man go back and re-record the podcast with Adam we took a foul <laughs> yeah we took an absolute foul oh. I think that sound sounds a bit different <laughs> <laughs> it's true because it does <laughs> Let me show you. All right. Now, once because now there's layers to this. Once you did the underlayer of the perfume, you usually have two. I just finished the other one. We could try to spray it. Now, stick your arms up. This is the bishna. No, no, no. Now, this, you have to put it in here and then get one on the wrist. Reason why is when you're talking, the fragrance goes around. Mm. See what I'm saying? Boom, on the wrist. Now, we already got here. We got the no, beard. No, 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 so now, nah, you leave it. Don't ever rub. Don't ever rub. Don't ever rub. Now, when you're wearing jeans or a thobe, you always get it here. Jeans. Now turn a bit like that. Boom. Where or like, spraying it right now? Where are you you're doing? spraying it behind the knee. So now if everyone's sitting and you walk by them, mm. hits them. So I'm saying harakat. And then the final step. In the mouth. No, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> That's, how you brush your, that's why you brush your teeth with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I need to open up a gentleman's club. I'm telling you, bro. The gentleman's club is you walking into an office. Yeah. <laughs> no, the brother's club is just about Dean, you know, trying to bring you closer to Allah through, you know, whatever it means. What? No, it's not. <laughs> the brother's club the is gentleman's about club, though, <laughs> <laughs> is you walking into the office and you leaving out a gentleman with regards to the way you dress, with the 
regards to hygiene and potentially there might be a paid extra service with regards to how you talk. Brothers, you need to start moving like gentlemen, bro. Guys, start practicing, fam. Bro, they got pen marks here. They got this. They've been having the same phone for three weeks. They got a little rip over there, bro. They just do hard. You know what I mean? It's true, Allah. It's a problem. Actually, they're not moving like gentlemen, like classy men. You know what I mean? A practicing brother should walk into the room and kafirat should be like, damn, wallahi, I slipped up. I should have got myself a Muslim. Barak Allah, bro. You know, one of the things I've taken from this podcast. Yeah, man, there's a couple things I planned, a couple podcasts I planned for Ramadan. I'm going to cancel them all. Yeah. This is going to be the last one. No way. I actually need to focus. Even I'm thinking all of this is taken away from time that I could be spending with Quran. Allah, Not nice long. Hearing you talk about it just reminded me. Zakhlaq khair. Barak Allah. Allah, I'm going to love for you, man. I love you too, bro. Zakhlaq khair, man. How did you find that, bro? I liked it. Yeah? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. You know why I like it? Well, I don't care about it. I enjoyed it. I felt like my, I'm leaving this chair with my Iman crease. Well, I don't give a damn about the rest. That's how I know if I like something. You know, one of the reasons I was asking those questions yeah. is because it's crazy you just said your Iman increase. Yeah. But you were talking. Isn't that Tadabur? Yeah. Isn't that what it is? Yeah, that's the whole point of that. That's why I give da'wah. Wallah, it's more so for me. Yeah. Ah, wallahi. You know, Elias, you know how I, I mean, said My, my point is that, you know, when you read those ayats from the Quran, yeah. you've got to imagine that's you being spoken to. Like I was reading this fa'id that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet, Inna kalat to laqti al Quran a millahu al-Hakim al Alim. Yeah. Muhammad, you take the Quran directly from Allah. Yeah. Talaqi, right? Yeah. But the same word Allah uses for Qaf to talk about us. إن في ذلك لذكرى لمن كان له قلب أو ألقى السمع وهو شهيد. تلقي. So the Prophet was told you do تلقي and we were told you تلقي. This Quran only benefits the one who takes it directly. He he تلقي. He lends his ear to directly receive it. So the point being is that the Quran came down the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Thank you, Habib. Allah Jazakallah. Shukran. 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 Shuk but when you read the Quran, yeah. you got to be as if it came down. Is, uh... Yeah, alhamdulillah, man. It's very beneficial for me personally. Yeah, well, it's very good. It's very good, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you drop the uh, side guy. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> huh? so sometimes you got to drop the side guy, you know? Well, I love this. I'm happy right now. I could go eat right now. Relax. You know what I mean? Allah gang. Allah. 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 It's the Abbot. Sufyan, cancel all our podcasts, man. Deep, huh? Mud. It is. We're trying to put this stuff out to help the people. But I can't lie. Alhamdulillah, we've done a lot. I'm recording this month. I have to focus, bro. What are you going to focus on? Quran. Well, I imagine that Allah is actually telling you, yo, upon you is yourself, bro. <laughs> upon you is yourself, Allah. And that's why you see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is in the house of his, his wives. When he hears the adhan, it's as if he doesn't know anybody. Doesn't know anybody. Allah well, goes to show you, the first person is you, bro. Allah bond the people at certain particular times. <laughs> Oh, if only you caught the conversation <laughs> last night, it would have made sense. Yo, Abu Bakr, I beg you give me a Ramadan gift, man. Let me let me drive it for a bit. Well, you drive it now? Yeah. Yeah? What was it? Let me drive it. <laughs> I asked first. They know, they know. Woo! Yeah, yeah, it's hectic, it's hectic out here. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> All right, guys, alhamdulillah. So now we just um, prayed salah after the podcast. Now we're heading to Mirdif Masjid. It's a masjid we didn't get to show you guys in the previous vlog. Uh, so far, it's my, so far it's my favorite masjid because there's the, the recital there is consistently the best, in my opinion, and the salah is long as well. Um, it's long too. Yeah, it's long. So you're trying to take us to a masjid that's long with no food as well. 
the one eat after. That's another La thing. Is that we've only right now. I, I've had five dates. The brothers have had three dates. Maybe one or two little small, small, tiny. I had four dates. Things of water. Four dates, yeah. And a samosa. And a samosa. Oh, and a samosa. Oh, oh you're oh, up. You're up. You're rich, bro. No, but I'll be honest with you. This right now is. I don't know about. I can't speak for everyone, but for me. This is the best. Yeah, same. I'm gonna eat after. 100%, 100%. No, I agree with the eating after, but you don't break date. You don't break fast the whole day with three dates and still be hungry and then go. You know what it is? I never believed that, right? Until I did it the other day and I was mind blown. Yeah, hey, shut up. Yo, I can't lie. Sitting in the back is a vibe. Trust it's me. It's a vibe, right? It's so nice. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I drive responsibly, mate. Day, but I need so I was, Ooh. I was planning to uh, easy, easy. Come on. I was planning to. Uh, <laughs> Just re-energize for the Salah, inshallah, and then that's it. Uh, I think you want Meat strong. Meat grow. This one, potato cheese. Potato cheese. Big man thing. Bismillah. Here. Mm. Nourished, alhamdulillah. Ready? What's it? Wallahi. Mm. Here with samosa. Mm. It's so bangy. Really? Sahib, sahib. You feel me? This is peer pressure, wallahi. I was fine. You having two? What's half of the shawarma? Yeah, yeah, I got you, brother. What can you Allahu Akbar. Take a little piece of bread. What is it? Chicken or meat? Chicken. Alright, guys, we've got to be a little bit quick here. Yeah? Yo, where's your nice flip flops, bro? Why are you walking around with these ones, man? What do you mean, eh? What happened in the Burberry, bro? It takes me to an office. And in this office is a small office, but there's like 25 Bengali uncles in there. And it's a chaos, it's a ruckus. So guys, it's a conclusion to a beautiful 24 hours. What you just saw right now was literally 24 hours a day in the life of. One thing I wanted to say, subhanAllah, is when I was in that masjid in Middif, there was an uncle that was going around. Do you, you what is this? Go on. No. No, but do you know what this is? But do you know what type of oud? Bro? This is that pure thing. This is this is racks in this bottle. Oh, that's a strong stuff. Bro, the uncle come and put it on me. I looked to him, I said, oh, I was just making conversation. I said, this is the khalis stuff, pure stuff. I wouldn't be, this, this, this is a couple racks in this bottle. Yeah. But you know what he did? He goes to me, hold it, look at it. Just look at the color. He's speaking Arabic. He said, hold it, so I'm holding it. Because it's like yours. Well, that was mine, bro. Who does that, bro? Ah, look at how pure this is, bro. Look how thick this is pure oil. Wait, let me let me have some though. Let me try some. Do you understand? This is the. Nah, like, I'm just I'm just baffed at the love, bro. Yeah, no, that's too much. Yeah, yeah. I right, give it back then. Give me some. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> couple little business deals are made on the table. You know what I'm saying? Couple little one-two that are. Couple little business deals. 
couple of little marriage advices, couple of little relationship advices, couple of little secrets got exposed. But yeah, man, now it's a sad day. Adam is leaving. He's about to abandon me. And then obviously we've got the Mr. Abu Bakr. Allah Mubarak. Brother, say salamu alaikum to the vlog. Salamu alaikum. I'm going home now. See you guys next time. I'm just going to end it on that. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming back to uh, Masjid Hind And uh, today We had to park Out Far out Because uh, Mr. Mishari Al-Afasi is here He's reciting today Leading the Taraweeh And all of these cars that you can see Have come because they want to hear the Quran being recited by him in Salah And I actually think it's a beautiful thing You know why? Because we are used to like People parking like this for like celebrities, football matches and concerts, Audi Billah and things like that. But here people have come in droves because they want to hear the Quran being recited in a beautiful way. And it's a beautiful thing. What do you think, Abid? Yeah, it's nice. I think it's a beautiful it's nice. thing. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a beautiful thing. It seems like it's going to be packed. Because... Like, I sincerely hate that so much, man. One brother actually came up to me. May Allah bless him. I mean, he came up to me and shook my hands and everything. And he goes, I actually just saw the vlog yesterday. The one we said you don't like to take pictures, so I'm not even going to ask you for a picture. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, well, I really appreciate that. I give him a big hug and I say, bro, you are taking a picture with him. From my heart, do you get me? He's a nice guy, right? But now. yeah, yeah, it's just, you know what it is? I'm, I, have to, I have to mention this, man. I have to mention this because if someone asks you for a picture, I would never say no. Reason because I don't want to break their heart. I don't want them to ever think, oh, this guy's arrogant. And you don't know people, actually, man. They, they, they watch your videos and they feel like they, go, they, they got guided through it with Allah's mission. And it's like, it might mean the world to them, you know, when they see you in real life. Well, that's not good for my soul, man. So I have to just, you know, one of the reasons I told you to keep the camera running is so I can make this point. And there you have it, guys. Another vlog, another day in Ramadan. It was a beautiful rap. Hopefully you guys benefit. If you're liking the vlogs, please click the subscribe button, inshallah ta'ala. Based on you clicking the subscribe button, we'll know if you guys are finding this beneficial. Now, if you're wondering what's that annoying sound in the background, it's because I'm currently in the airport. This is me ending this vlog at the start of the next vlog where you're going to follow us on our trip to Umrah and back. The next vlog is going to be Umrah, it's going to be supercars, it's going to be amazing salawat in Mu'mas Hajid. Check it, inshallah ta'ala. But like I said, click the subscribe button for now.